Hi and welcome to Top This, where we are showcasing the best things to do and see in the BC interior. I'm your host, Emily Moyes, and this week's episode is based around food. We are going to bring to you the best places to grab a bite to eat off the beaten path. be in the Okanagan where Marianne is going to bring us a spin on one of life's guilty pleasures. We're here at Swanky's in Kelowna's Cultural District where you can get a hot dog but not just your ordinary hot dog. In fact they're gourmet and many would call them Swankalicious. With names like Lego My Bacon, Z German and Spaghetti About It, you know you're in for a treat. It's a Viva Italian hot dog and it tasted delicious. Swanky's has a host of mouth-watering toppings to satisfy any food craving and the master behind this creative feat, chef and self-proclaimed king of hot dogs, Ben Crow. Welcome to Swanky's Gourmet Hot Dog House. Come on in and enjoy. Armed with an arsenal of creative ideas and a flair for the unusual, Ben opened a hot dog house to cater to our love of those juicy dogs. From 5 to 95, you can relate to a hot dog, whether it be a Plains little kid one with ketchup or granddad's favorite he had back in the wartime. So Ben, we're in the back here where all this hot dog loveliness is made. Yes. What are you going to make for us today? Today I'm going to make it the Master Pro hot dog. It's definitely our number one selling hot dog. I got the gluten-free bun because I have celiac disease, so it's actually really cool to have somewhere that I could go to get a celiac meal. Beautiful soft bun, tender, baked fresh every day with my custom garlic smashed potatoes down the inside, aged cheddar cheese, the wiener, more aged cheddar cheese, garlic pepper bacon, and finished with sour cream and chives. So in case you didn't catch that, we started off with a freshly baked bun, then we slathered on the base. Here we have our magical master probe mix. We start by lining the inside of the bun, one top, smoothly down the inside, just to get enough of that love inside there. Nice sprinkle of the aged cheddar cheese, and that's your base started right there. All right, so now that the bun is done, we need our feature presentation. Absolutely. We're gonna come over to the broiler here and grab us a fresh, plump, juicy, no MSG, gluten-free, all beef wiener. Now we're ready for the toppings. The aged cheddar cheese, the garlic pepper bacon, and our magic swanky spice. Bet you're swishing you were here. Well, before we can dig into this gourmet hot dog, there's just one more step. So we got a broiler up nice and sexy for you. All right, Master Progs begins its journey. I had, I don't know, actually know the full name of it, it was the Lego something or other, and it had waffles and bacon and cheese and maple syrup and wow. a whole lot of goodness on it. <laughs> I had the taco one. Usually I just have like mustard and ketchup, so it's pretty different and creative. What will happen under those nice toasty hot embers will basically melt all the ingredients together, get all the juices and oils out of that garlic pepper bacon, basically perfecting your hot dog. Coming out on the other side, we'll top it off with some garnishes and off you go. Just look at that hot dog sizzle. And after a few short minutes, the wait is finally over. Now we're at our final stage. We're going to garnish the Master Probe. Basically, it's fresh sour cream. Six magical dollops down the center. Now we're going to finish with our beautifully fresh cup chives. A sprinkle right down the middle. We can sure to hit every one of our little beautiful sour cream drops. Buns are perfect. Super, yeah, crispy. really crispy, the bun, but not dry. It's just very, very good. I had uh, the Italian one. I think it's Viva Italia. I liked it a lot. I had the taco one. <laughs> and what was on the taco? Ground beef, tomato, cilantro, sour cream, 
and a hot dog. Liked them on Facebook, I saw a picture, and I was like, oh, what's this? I've never heard of Swankies before, came to check it out, and brought the whole family along, and well worth it. Being a hot dog connoisseur, how would you rate this? Oh, that's a 10. <laughs> a 10 on 10. <laughs>